Hi guys, how you doing? It's Nick coming at you from the Tech Cave. Um, I wanted to share something with you. Um, I didn't show this in the last boot sale haul video I did. I just kind of showed a few highlights and so you didn't get to see this. I went to a stall and they had a crate of CDs on the floor. I don't buy a lot of CDs anymore. It's kind of something I've moved away from but I still do have a look. And um, so I started having a look and there's a few things in this crate that caught my eye. There was a Sergeant Peppers. It needs a little bit of repair on the sleeve because it's coming away. But there was a Sergeant Pepper. There was another Pink Floyd double best of. I kept the last one for myself, but this one will be to resell. Anyway, so there was a few good things in there. So I thought, okay, I'll ask how much they are. So I looked up and asked the stall holder, how much are your CDs? He said, they're 50 pence each. I said, okay, started looking. I didn't say another word and then I was just rummaging through, looking at a few discs, picked out a few bits I was interested in. And then without any prompting, the guy said to me, tell you what mate, give us three pounds and you can have the whole lot. I was all, you know, I'd already picked up four or five bits anyway. So I said, yes. So I ended up just picking up the whole thing, which is that. Now, I would say 90% of this or 85% of this is absolute tat that's not worth doing anything with. But what I thought would make an interesting video is to see what Music Magpie will give me on all the rubbish. I will go through and scan a lot of this into Amazon, check it on eBay, see what I can get on the half decent stuff. And then the rest I will scan straight into Music Magpie and we'll see what I get back. So yeah, thought I'd make a video about it and share that with you. So um, yeah, next job, check they've got the discs in and start scanning into Music Magpie and checking the decent stuff on eBay. Right, that's my first task done. I've just been through it all. I pulled out, um, there were some that were copies uh, that were just fakes, so I've been those. Um, these have discs missing or they are CD singles. CD singles cases are quite handy, so I keep those. Um, so that lot's just now for spare cases. Um, there's a stack here, just to the side, that is going to go to Magpie. That's all of this. So all the discs are in those. Uh, condition's okay. Might need to change a couple of cases. And then there's a load of stuff here that I'm going to sell individually. I don't know how many was there, maybe 60, 70. Um, and there's always a few, there's always a few gems. This I've had before, and I sold it on Amazon, I think, last time. Um, prices seem to have improved. I'm going to aim for around £12 on that. That's Funk Soul Classics. Seems to have a fairly good rank and very few FBA sellers. This was another surprising one. Old School Reunion. Um, Again, I think about 12, I'm going to aim for on that. Uh, Pink Floyd Echo, should get about a fiver back on that. Uh, a few other compilations um, that there weren't many FBA sellers. I'm going to aim for around the five pound mark on these. And then a few other bits and bobs that I'm going to put on eBay. Uh, the um, Beatles ones will go well on eBay. Uh, Manic Special Edition Double Best Of, etc and a few other bits. So the, the bits that I've pulled out there, that the half decent stuff and a couple of gems, I'll be looking, I think it was about 60 quid I'll get back on that lot. So that makes the whole purchase worth, well worthwhile anyway, for the three pounds that I spent on the box. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scan all of these straight into Magpie, put them in the box and send them away. So we'll find out how much I'll get on what is essentially the rubbish in the box. Okay, so I just scanned that great big stack into um, the Music Magpie website. They, there was a couple of these old HD DVDs in there. They're not taking those at all. They refused those. Um, most of them it averaged around sort of 20p, like that. A few less, a few more. One strange one. Well, I'll show you. I'll show you on the screen, actually. That stack that I showed you totaled to 14 pounds and three pence. Um, and one, right, let me switch the view, hold on. Okay, so that's what they're gonna give me for the 
basically the stack of rubbish that wasn't worth selling on eBay or Amazon, uh, which I'm perfectly happy with. And, and as you can see, sort of 18p, 20p, 16p, there's a few at 30, etc. But if you look here, £2.50, some unknown reason for this jam best of, but you can get that brand new on Amazon for £3.99. You can get it used for pennies. It's the same on eBay, so a bit of a glitch in their system on that one. But that's what I'm going to do, send that stack in and get 1403. So considering my investment on the whole box full was three pounds, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so there you go. I uh, hope you found that interesting. So in total, I'm looking at getting back 14 pounds and three pence from Music Magpie. And what did I say? I think about 60 pounds top end if I get what I'm going to ask on the good stuff. So 60, 74 pounds from a three pounds box of random CDs at a car boot sale. So I'm more than happy with that. Regarding the Music Magpie website, I, I would recommend it. You've just got to bear in mind that you don't get much for your stuff. Um, Music Magpie sell through Amazon and eBay. They call themselves Z Overstocks or E Stocks and they sell for next to nothing. So they're only going to give you pennies for your stuff. But if it's stuff, well this is a perfect example, if it's stuff that you basically got for next to nothing and you just need to move the excess, it's perfect for that. I mean, there was very little else I could have done with these. I could have job lotted them on eBay, but there was very little of any consequence in there, so I wouldn't have got much for them anyway. To my mind, it's perfect to just put them in a box and send them away. Also, you don't have to pay the courier cost. Uh, the Music Magpie... Um, on their website you can print off a, a label and the, so the courier cost is free so you don't incur any costs in sending them to Magpie. Um, so yeah, it's great. Um, they are a little bit fussy about condition. You can't send stuff that's completely scratched to bits um, and if they've got smashed up cases you'll need to change those. But it's a quick and easy service, especially if you've got a barcode scanner. I, I picked this one up years and years ago on eBay for a tenner. Uh, it just makes the whole process really quick and easy. If you're going to do much in the way of Amazon selling as well, I'd recommend investing in one of these because it just saves so much time searching things. You just scan the barcode and away you go. So yeah, really handy. So that's that. Um, a bit of a word about videos. Um, they might be a bit sporadic over the next couple of weeks because this weekend we close our clothing shop and then it's going to be just chaos for a couple of weeks whilst we clear this place and move everything you see here. My whole eBay and Amazon setup is moving back to my old office at home. At home I've got uh, a garage that I converted to interior space which is attached to the house which I used to make my videos from. All of this is going back to there. We have a rear extension at our house as well which is going to become Amazon's Amazon's office? <laughs> Andrea's office and she's going to work from there so we've got to set all of that up. We've got so much work to do. We've got so much stuff to move. So I'm not sure. I might try and do some videos showing you guys what we're getting up to and the process of setting up the new offices. Um, but I don't know. There will be our regular Thursday hangouts with Zaheer. Um, I think we've got a guest lined up for this week. So tune in for that on Thursday at 6 o'clock uh, for our regular Thursday hangout. And I'll try and keep some sort of videos coming, but yeah, it's all going to be up in the air. I can't really see me going out sourcing much. It's become so apparent the amount of stock we have. Now, we've, now it's dawned on us we've got to move it all and find homes for it all at, back at our house. Um, yeah, I'm not really itching to buy more stock, but I say that quite often and then go out and buy more stock, so so who knows. But anyway, so I hope you found that enjoyable. Um, I'll leave a link below to uh, the Music Magpie website. Go over there and have a look. Um, it's great for clearing stuff, um, but just just bear in mind, well, you probably saw some of the prices they were offering. It's, it's like pennies per CD. Um, but for clearing your general rubbish, it's great. Anyway, I hope you guys found that interesting, something a little bit different. Please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys soon. Bye for now.
Okay, so there you go. I hope you found that interesting. If you've not used mute, uh, mute, 